Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice for June 29th, 2016. And so this is a general reading for everyone watching, looking at the energies that surround us at this time, or what potential there is, what we need to know about these energies and how we can use them for our highest good. And so just uh, keep an open mind and take away the messages that make sense to you in the way that they do. So the first card that we have is temperance and temperance represents in this spread the influence of the past on our current situation and so this talks about a time in our lives when we took time to think we took time to reflect we took time to figure out what we wanted to do before acting upon that temperance is an important energy okay temperance is telling us not to be pushed or pressured in any kind of a way uh, by our ego consciousness, okay, and I feel that that is represented by the peacock in the card. We shouldn't let our pride um, get the best of us and then be forced to make a decision or be forced to act on something just because, um, oh, if I don't do it, what, else, what are they going to think of me? Or if I do that, what, what are people going to think of me? Or everyone's doing that, why am I not doing it? I should be doing it. If, anyone, if everyone's doing it, maybe it's a good thing. And so on and so forth, okay, that's our ego consciousness that is telling us um, things that come from a place of ego or doubt or fear. And so with temperance, I feel like this is a time in our lives when we focused on our spirituality and we went within as opposed to looking um, outside of ourselves to see how other people are doing things and why they're doing things that way. Um, and temperance is taking that time to think, taking that time to reflect really getting to know ourselves and understanding our own motives for doing something or not doing something. Um, and so it's a time of rest. It's a time of taking um, a breath, hitting the pause button. Um, and I feel that this usually happens when, because this is a revelation that we have, okay, when we say, well, you know what, what do I want to do? Because it usually happens when the world around us is so busy and so chaotic and it looks like everything's happening for everyone else and everyone else is kind of pushing us to to keep up or to go in the same direction and so on and so that's when um, a light bulb goes off and we think well you know what do I really want to do this yeah everyone's doing it but I don't find interest in it or I don't it doesn't make me happy I don't see the point in that some people you know like to just an example um, if you're with a group of people or you're surrounded by people who are always talking about what they have and always talking about what they bought and always talking about the latest gadgets that they bought for themselves and their kids and so on. But you don't really, you know, you don't really care. That's not what you want to spend your money on. And so it's your ego consciousness could come in and say, oh, well, I don't have that and I don't have that and I don't have that or I'm going to look like an idiot or I'm going to look like I don't have enough money to buy stuff, or I'm going to look like whatever. And that's when, okay, if we um, are a spiritual person, that's when a light goes off and says, you know what, I'm not interested in that, and that's okay. If they're interested in that, that's okay too. But I'm my own person. I have my own interests. I have my own ideas and my own plans. And that's okay to each his own. But respecting who you are and respecting your desires, your ideas, your plans and being okay with the fact that maybe you don't have as much as everyone else around you or maybe you don't fit the norm for once or anything like that. And so temperance is that light bulb in our lives that says, you know what, hold on, I need to think about this. You know, if people are buying five-story houses and you know you're finding yourself going to the bank on the way to the bank you're thinking you know what I need time to think about this I don't really think I need a five-story house so I'm just gonna hit the pause button and spend some time reflecting on what it is that I do want and be okay with the fact that I'm not gonna have a five-story house just because everyone else does or just stuff like that okay I'm just giving you examples just to illustrate um, what I mean but it can be anything okay it depends on where you are in life and what your situation is what you're focused on at this time the energy for today is the four of Pentacles and the four of Pentacles is 
a card that talks about boundaries. It talks about building foundations, building walls, um, accumulating things, accumulating possession or knowledge or whatever it is for you. And the Four of Pentacles usually shows up when we're doing this because either we're afraid we're going to lose what we have or we're afraid that we're going to le get left behind or we're afraid of not having enough and so on and so forth okay the four of pentacles can show up when we're holding on to what we have too tightly for fear of losing it but at the same time we're blocking everything else out because you, you we're not allowing anything to go out of our bank account for example but at the same time we're not allowing for anything else to come in because we put that wall up that you know works either way um and the Four of Pentacles also shows up, shows up to let us know that we have built a strong foundation, that we have um, built some solid walls around ourselves to protect ourselves, to make us feel secure, to make us feel safe. And again, this can be in anything, in your job, in your financial situation, in your relationships, in your connections, your personal projects, anything. And so we have enough, okay? I feel that we've built enough. We feel safe. We feel secure with where we are. And it could be to do with the past where we're looking back and we're thinking, did I do the right thing at that time? Or this is looking back and thinking, um, you know what, maybe I should have chosen things, chosen different things at that time, okay? Because the Four of Pentacles does have a touch of ego consciousness involved because it is that fear of losing what you have that pushes you to, to gain more okay or to just hold on to what you have so tightly and for today i feel that there's a bit of a a tiny conflict okay between how we feel and what we think so we may feel safe we may feel happy we may feel secure with where you where we are and where we're going and what we have but our ego consciousness may still try to play tricks on us and tell us you know what uh, you don't have enough money, other people have more money than you, or you don't have enough of whatever, other people have more, or your job is not so great, you know, you shouldn't tell people that you're just an assistant or anything like that, okay? So, it doesn't matter, as long as you're happy, that's what matters, that's your foundation. It's not the money or the possessions that you have, it's your inner peace, that is your foundation, that is what you can build castles upon. Okay, because you're calm, you're, you're collected, you know who you are, you know what you want, and you're happy with that. And so no matter what comes, you stay the same and you grow in that positive direction. The energy that we're moving into tomorrow with is the energy of the hermit. And the hermit talks about walking our own path, speaking our own truth, finding answers. Okay, so we have two major arcana cards in the beginning of the reading and, and at the end of the reading. So we are coming from a place where there was that light bulb moment, there was that aha moment that, you know what, maybe it's okay that I'm not just going with the flow and doing what everyone else is doing. Maybe it's okay that I take some time to figure out who I am and what I want. And we're going through that, okay, with the Four of Pentacles today, it's like looking at our foundation. Are we happy? Do we feel secure? Do we feel safe enough? Or is it that we are building up walls around us for fear of losing what we have, okay? Is it that we've conquered our ego consciousness in the past just so it can win today? Or can we go back to that place of inner peace, of being calm and collected, and being happy and grateful for everything that we do have, and that's where our feelings of security and abundance come from? And then we have the hermit, as the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with and this is telling us stay with that inner world continue contemplation continue self-reflection find your own truth speak your own truth walk your own path that's okay that's more than okay each of us have our own individual path to walk in this world and we don't always have to go with the group we don't always have to follow the, the team leader and we are given an opportunity to, first of all, become aware of who we are and be happy with who we are and what we have and where we're going. And secondly, 
start shaping our outside world to match our inside world. And if example, if for example, until now, we've been surrounded by people who have different interests, okay, we don't share those interests. If they're always talking about money or they're always talking about possessions or they're always talking about who has what or they're always gossiping or they're always looking for drama. And you're just not interested in that. You just don't feel like you fit in. You don't have anything to contribute to that because you have different interests. It's absolutely okay that they are that way and it's absolutely absolutely okay that you are the way you are. Okay? And if you feel like you need to separate yourself from a certain group of people, from a certain job, from a certain relationship, from a certain connection, from a certain place, then this card is telling you that you have what you need to do so. You have a solid foundation. You have enough resources. And you feel strong within yourself and your belief. And that's why you're moving into the energy of the hermit where you're continuing to seek answers and you're continuing to seek your truth, but you're starting to walk your own path. And the guidance card that we have for today is the death card, okay? And we've had Kali show up in the in the couple of days before in the position of the future. And here is the death card showing up as our guidance card. So this is telling us that change is upon us, okay? This is saying that I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. So this is telling us that we are going through some changes and we're moving into a place that is more in line with who we are and more in line with what makes us happy, okay, with the hermit. This is our inner world coming to the surface and slowly starting to shift and transform our outer world. So I feel that with the death card today, this is definitely telling us to go with the flow. This is saying don't put a wall up and hold on to what you have because there's so much bigger things and better things in line for you. Don't be afraid to embrace change. Don't be afraid to open up to change. Don't be afraid to embrace new energy, new people, new opportunities. Okay, let go and see what happens. You are secure enough to do this. You have enough resources. Don't be afraid you're going to lose all your money. Don't be afraid you're going to lose your possessions. Don't be afraid you're going to lose your livelihood or someone in your life or a relationship or a job. If you find yourself looking at a new opportunity today, give it some thought, give it some serious consideration, okay? And if you truly feel like it's not the right thing for you, then that's okay. But if you feel drawn to give it a shot and just look into, the, in, into that opportunity a bit further, then do that, okay? Go with the flow with the energy of the death card. Change and transformation is all about it's all about moving forward. It's all about letting go of the past because we have outgrown a situation or we have outgrown a relationship or a job or a friendship or a connection or an old way of being, an old way of, of seeing ourselves in the world. And we are going through changes. And the Four of Pentacles is here to tell us, first of all, we have everything we need and we're gonna be okay. We don't have to worry about that. And secondly, try to lower your guard just a little bit. Don't be afraid of change. It's not always comfortable, but it's always positive, okay? If we embrace the energy and we do go with the flow and we accept the guidance we receive, it's always positive. And with temperance and the hermit, these are both spiritual cards, so this is telling us that if our intuition is telling us to try something new, to walk a different path, to talk to different people, to find different jobs, to find different connections, then embrace that guidance and see where it takes you, okay? Because it's about to be a really beautiful day of things ending so that greater things can begin in our lives, okay? And moving to the next level with anything that we are focusing on, okay? And especially our personal growth, our spiritual growth. And remember, we're heading into a place where our outer world will start to match our inner world. And that means attracted like-minded people, okay? Attracting like-minded people to us, people who share our vision, share our dreams or plans or goals in life, someone you don't have to explain yourself to all the time, someone you don't have to defend yourself against all the time, someone who will support you unconditionally and love you unconditionally. And this applies in any area of your life. You will be more in line with your life purpose. You will find a job that makes you emotionally content, not just financially. 
or financially content as well as emotionally, okay? And so on and so forth. And you will be happy and at peace, okay? And your happiness is going to come from your inner peace and the, the knowing that you're walking your own path and you're speaking your own truth. Okay, so there we have it. These are the messages for today. Um, I hope that these make sense and I hope that they help. Okay, let me know how your day is going. I hope that we have an absolutely transformative day. Thank you so much for being here with me and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.